There's also a search effort underway in Utah for a college student from El Segundo. Mackenzie Lewick has been missing now for days. A 23-year-old has missed an exam and a friend's wedding, and this has worried loved ones. Kick on Michelle Gili with the latest tonight. The community here in El Segundo is worried. Kenzie Lewick was supposed to fly back home yesterday, but officials say she was a no-show on that flight into LAX. I don't where is she? In Kenzie Lewick's hometown of El Segundo, people are very concerned about her disappearance. The 23-year-old who goes to college in Utah was last seen, according to police, a week ago. Lewick was home for her grandma's funeral and flew from LAX to Salt Lake City. Officials say she texted her mom, saying she'd arrive safely, but hasn't been seen since. Uh, it's uh, just awful. Um, it's, it's, uh, wouldn't wish that on any parent, you know. It's, I hope, uh, hopefully, there's a safe return. At a news conference in Salt Lake City this afternoon, Assistant Police Chief Tim Doubt told reporters that the University of Utah senior used Lyft to take her from the airport to Hatch Park in North Salt Lake. Officers say Mackenzie Lewick arrived there at 3 a.m. and met someone waiting for her in a car. Detectives have spoken with the Lyft driver and learned that Mackenzie was met at Hatch Park by an individual in a vehicle. The Lyft driver left McKenzie at the park with that person and stated that McKenzie did not appear to be in any type of distress. In El Segundo, there was no answer at the Lewick's home. Back in Salt Lake City, police say McKenzie Lewick's phone is turned off. She hasn't been active on social media, has missed a midterm and a wedding. Her friends and sorority sisters are blanketing Salt Lake City with missing person flyers. For her not to reach out to me, Snapchat, Instagram, anything is very unlike her, very uncommon. She's usually in touch with me almost every day. So the big question right now is who Mackenzie Lewick met at that park? Salt Lake City police are not saying whether it was a man or a woman or what kind of car that person was driving. Kenzie's friends and family say they can't understand why she didn't go straight home after flying into Salt Lake City Airport a week ago today. In El Segundo, Michelle Gilek, KCAL 9 News.